Hi, it's Matt Sparks, and today I got the world's first dual overhead valve 4x4 piston vacuum engine. So, if you're wondering the reason why it's hard to make a dual overhead valve configuration on a 4x4 piston engine, so I will explain briefly the reason why. So, imagine these are your two valves. So, they are two sets wide, and if you push them up against each other, they equal the length of your combustion chamber. So there's no extra space this wise, but um, the problem is, is that there's no barrier separating between the intake and the exhaust ports. So um, your intake and your exhaust, there's nothing to separate between them. Um, so that's one of the key reasons why it's hard to make a dual overhead valve configuration on a 404 piston engine. Now I actually designed a type of barrier that actually helps with that and actually can um, run two, um, two, two studs wide valve that are butt up against each other. So um, anyways, this can't really run very long because of it's kind of an experimental engine currently. It's still in the process. That's the reason why I'm not going to make a tutorial for it just yet. If I do, that is. Um, but, anyways, for the people who just want to see it run, I've done ex I've done enough explaining. So let's run. <laughs> So I hope you can uh, see with the push rods and uh, everything moving, but as you just saw, this is a true cam. Uh, um, it actually works like a realistic cam and has a realistic push rods and uh, rocker. So everything is as realistic as you can get. But um, one of the funny parts is that down here, from here down is the block. And then from here up, is all the head so it's like about the size if not twice the size of the block so um it is a very tall and lengthy boy so the the vow the push rods you see how long these things are this is a tr uh, 12 axle uh, 12 stud long axle with a three stud long connector and a eight stud long axle so uh to put in perspective that's about this long. That long of a push rod. So, uh, it is pretty long and it's uh, kind of cool. But anyways, to take this apart, so, um, you're going to begin with taking off the, um, top part here. And I'll show you the very compact, um, valve, like, spring that, uh, it's a very compartment. So, the compartment is very small and uh, that's what I'm going to show you. It's very compact. And uh, it really drives you crazy if you can't put the rubber band in correctly. Then it just, it's all messed up. Because if you look in here, even I just dropped it right now. In there, I can't really see it, but there. You see in there, it's just very, very tight in there. But um, the rubber band just come off super easily. And even both of them just came off. So um, to show you how bad it is, you have to take, so you have to very carefully pop off the bottom of the head here, not to break anything. And then also take off the bottom of the push rods, uh, the bearings here. So um, you have to carefully take that off. 
And then after all that's done, you have to make sure that these things get pushed all the way down. All right. So that push all the way up. Then it is flat. All right. Then <clears throat> after that, we're not going to worry about the intake for right now. It's it's messed up. But um so you got to put it on the ground, which I'm going to have it on a in the block to show you guys. You wrap it around here. You got to pull it tight. And then you got to push the the um the valve down and you got to put them on the pegs very carefully. So that takes a lot of skill in order for this thing to actually get put back together. So, um, yeah. But anyways, that is that compartment. I'm sorry, you can't really see in there. Alright, so that's a better look inside there. It's very compact. Alright, and then the part that you all want to see on the design here. So, if you rip off the valves, alright, alright, so you see here that you have your barrier right here and you have your thing right here, so if you very carefully take this out, so on here you have your 1x2 plates with the 1x1 hole in the middle, so that goes on these plates here so that there's actually a little like little nub thing there that these can actually be pushed onto and on the back side it's this style that you can actually put a stud right in the middle on there so now you can put it right in the middle of there and also push it in the middle of that um, plate there and then you just of course stack it up and also put this little plate in there to seal down here since you have an elevated surface then you stack it up and then on the top here to seal good you have to have these plates on here so that whenever you put that onto here to show you how good it seals I mean this thing is probably one of the best designs as far as this goes this seals right there so that seals pretty good as far as coverage on this side and this side um so yeah and then also this is covered half a stud on this side as well so you have half a stud there half a stud there half a stud there so you have half a stud of just basically just coverage on this face here so if you push this down under here that's basically what the top side would look like. So that has some good coverage all the way across. And then on the side here, that is actually being sealed by the side of the block. So everything is being sealed really, really good. And um, yeah, so that's that design. And they also have a couple of these uh, one by one studs in there to keep, uh, take up some space. And then. Um, if you're wondering about these holes here so that it doesn't cross over between from there to there I actually put some one by one headlight bricks in there and push them on there um, it's that one trick where you can take here we go, you can take these bricks uh, plate uh, whatever these things are called headlight bricks you can push them in between the middle of the brick so a little holder here and then you can push them on like that okay so that's how that would work with the hole in the back side with like the half half stud hole in there that's how that's covered all right and then that so that should be all sealed up I try to have these clear pieces in there so you can see the valves going but it just didn't work out and then uh, I did some clearing there so you can see the push rods. But overall, that's my head design. Um, hopefully, you guys can just see that and um, recreate it. But um, so I don't have to make a tutorial. But uh, if you guys so do wish, 
then I will set a light goal for this video of let's give it high let's get um about nine likes.